Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. Now, some encouraging news for cinemas. Weekend box office statistics, Ant-Man earns $104 million launch. The latest installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe handily won the weekend, despite receiving a poor rating on the Tomatometer. While James Cameron's Avatar sequel continued to climb the all-time charts, it was released. It seems that theaters are not extinct. And here's what you need to know about AIP and AMC for today and this week. AIP is fifth and AMC is seventh on Yahoo Finance's list of companies with the biggest short interest. This list is published every two weeks and is based on a summary of the consolidated market, short interest holdings listed on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So I'd like you to know, out of the entire universe of stocks, Ape ranks fifth, while ANC ranks seventh. We therefore addressed short interest. Yet, which equities are the most shorted on the New York Stock Exchange? I'll tell you that our preferred stock remains the most shorted security on the New York Stock Exchange. Clearly, it is being targeted. The corporation will not comment. AMC also ranks in the top 10 of the most shorted stocks on the exchange, in ninth place. Now, this is the most crucial AMC-related information. In addition, as of this past Friday, AMC had been on the New York Stock Exchange's threshold list for 12 consecutive settlement days, beginning on February 2. Now, since Monday was a holiday and the markets were closed, it is officially day 13. The confirmation of this will not be available until tomorrow. Yet if there is significant buying at some point today, we may deduce why a broker-dealer with 13 consecutive settlement days of fail to deliver holdings must promptly close out the FT position by buying shares on the open market. So let's see if that happens. Checking the sentiment and mention tracker on Reddit. In the past 24 hours, AMC has been mentioned 357 times, a 37% increase over the previous day. Ape also made the list in 7th place with 193 mentions, an increase of 46%. First place was Bitcoin. Friday's AMC closing price was 5.24. The Ape closed at $2.40 bringing the total price to $7.64, a decrease of 0.39% on 42.7 million shares traded. Now, based on the last price, 5.24, we may say the following. Be on the lookout for support at levels 512, 500, and 1, all the way down to 480 on the downside. Anticipate opposition at locations 5.44, 565, and 5.76. At the time of this recording, AMC's put call ratio has decreased to 0.6%. Max Payne score is 550. The ASR is plainly off, since Stonico Tracker recorded 18,137 in the money calls expiring on February 24th at the $6 strike price. I saw 36,000. 274 profitable calls. In addition, Stonico Tracker, which imports this information from interactive brokers, indicates that there are now no shares available for borrowing or that Tex has released information. Our short score currently stands at 90.29 on AMC, 6.12 days to pay cost to borrow 237.42%, with utilization visibly fixed at 100 for more than a year. Let's take a brief look at the week's trade setting on the calendar. Apparently, I'm on the ANC threshold list for the 13th day today. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern, existing home sales will be reported. On Thursday, the Fed minutes from Fed 1, 831st jobless claims, and GDP are available. Friday will also be a significant event. Unfortunately, Russia may escalate the conflict in Ukraine. In addition, the SEC and Gary Gensler have until 5 p.m. to provide over all EFT-related correspondence and documents to the Committee on Financial Services. Now we have this three-day weekend with Quantum Mania, Ant-Man, which performed exceptionally well. However, next week at Tuesday, February 28, at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, we will receive the ANC earnings call. Critical Day I'm waiting to hear if we'll receive details on the branded credit card, retail popcorn, or if there was a pleasant or unfavorable surprise. For this reason, I will not vote till after the 28th. So folks, I'll reiterate what I've previously stated. 
how you vote is your own affair. So, even if it does try, it relies on the broader market, because if the entire market fails at the very, very crucial level I just indicated about SPI, if it fails, then this may drag all the way back down in another rejection to the low twos, 2.25. If it fails, you must keep a close eye on that too. And if it fails at 2.25, as previously stated, there is a greater chance of it filling the gap later on, perhaps in the later days of this week or the following week. What are the key AMC levels that I want to address briefly? Ank encounters severe resistance at $5.50, 5.88, and the $6 to $6.20 area, where it encounters resistance around $6.20. We have backing. Our solid backing is $5. Then below it is this section right here. Allow me to show you where it is. This 5-point area is actually a 4.75 area. Next, we have 4.42, followed by the gap fill area all the way to the bottom. So what AMC levels am I monitoring? Tomorrow will be significantly dependent on the market. I believe that tomorrow AMC will receive a push-up. We will begin with a pleasant push-up and will attempt to battle for 5.5. I have no idea if she will break it. It would be extraordinary if she did. That truly depends on a variety of circumstances. If she breaks it, we may try to get to 5.8 or so. But I believe there will be a rejection in the markets surrounding this area, and AMC might immediately decline and finish the day with a fairly flat performance. And I believe her movements for the remainder of this week will rely on PCE statistics. AMC might be dragged all the way down to 5, back into the 4s, if the market experiences a significant pullback. I just wanted to make everyone aware of this. I would also like to point out that, as sad as this is, this chasm does exist down here. If AMC fails and falls below $5 and we begin trading sideways at $4.42, it will be around $5. If it hits this zone right here, there is a greater chance of it closing this gap and falling to the very low fours. But I believe this will necessitate a major decline in the market. This is the fundamental issue at hand. In the end though, short interest is still short interest. Whenever these options expire or approach closer to expiration, a substantial amount of capital will become available, allowing AMC stock to move more significantly. So, ultimately, what this signifies for AMC and my personal belief is that AMC can now rally more depending on earnings in the future. If AMC's earnings are favorable and the stock rallies, Short interest may grow as some put options are exercised, sold, or exchanged. This does not constitute financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, but I will conclude this episode with a few declarations. First, short sellers have not yet covered. Short sellers have lost $81 billion thus far in 2023. Thank you for your attention. Hello, I appreciate your watching, and remember to click the like button following this slide. If you like the presentation, you can subscribe to the channel and set an alert to be notified when I upload new content. See you when the bell rings.